Here's another problem on uh, per unit analysis. Uh, base current and base voltage are given on a 100 kV system. And the question here is to determine the per unit voltage and the base impedance. So again, we have to always start with listing what the knowns are. So what are we given? Here we have um, the actual voltage, which is 100 kV. So let's put that down. So actual voltage in this case is 100 kV. That's given over here. 1000 amp is the base current. So we can put here I base. is 1000 amp and what is 200 kV that's the base voltage so we can put V base so it's always important to create these uh, visuals so that you know what the parameters that are given and what the question is asking so the question is asking for the per unit voltage we can say here this is what's being asked V per unit and base impedance Z base. So easily you can kind of see the relationship between these different formulas by just applying the, the formula directly. So for per unit we know that per unit um, is so V per unit is always equal to the actual voltage divided by the base voltage. If it's current, it's actual current divided by the base current. So V per unit is equal to actual voltage. Ooh, my handwriting today. Actual voltage divided by base voltage. So V per unit is equal to what what is actual voltage now you go back to your givens you can easily see and not get confused um, that it's 100 kV because you already had listed it earlier that's why it's always important to first start with listing with what the parameters that you're given are so V per unit actual voltage is 100 kV and divided by base voltage what's base voltage is a 200 kV so you can easily see here that it's um, 0.5 per unit and then there you go there you have it for your first um, your first question here your first um, you know answer to the first question and now number two here base impedance so let's list it out so base impedance is equal to uh, voltage base, the base voltage, divided by uh, the base current. You know, V equals IR, so R equal, you know, V of I. So just kind of translate that again here in this case. So Z base equal V base divided by, um, you know, the base current. So again, so V base, what's V base? Going back to the known parameters, V base is 200 kV. And what's I base is a thousand amp. So you can just do the math here and um, 200,000 divided by a thousand. So that's 200. So, um, so that's 200 ohms. And that's pretty much it for this problem.